Hey guys, welcome to the Rubin Report. According to the metadata, I'm Dave Rubin, and I've got Jen <laughs> Hoffman and Sean Hollenbach with me. And let's get right to it. Okay, the NSA scandal continues, and depending on what channel you're watching, this is either the most horrific overreach of government ever, or they're protecting us and our civil liberties are not at jeopardy. Uh, I want to start though with Fox News. They just are an endless cacophony of hilarity. Sean Hannity, here is some compilation of what Sean Hannity thought about the NSA and spying and that sort of thing when Bush was president. Uh, that's George W. Bush. And here's what he thinks about it uh, now that Obama's president. So take a look and then we're going to break it down. Is it right to say that, the, for example, on issues involving national security, be it the NSA surveillance program, the data mining program, the Patriot Act, Guantanamo Bay, that Democrats are weak on issues involving national security. When our techniques are working, we've got the NSA program here, we've got the Patriot Act program here. You know, in light of this, how close this was, I, I, it's staggering to me that we're even debating the use of these techniques in this country even at this time. Big Brother is monitoring your every move, whether it be online or on the telephone. Let's talk about why this story, why is this important to you? Number one, this is America, and as law-abiding American citizens, you have a right to privacy. Number two, these actions by the Obama administration are a clear, very clear violation of the Fourth Amendment, which prohibits unreasonable search and seizure. Number three, the Constitution. It is our rule of law. If we do not respect and honor the Constitution, then anarchy and tyranny will there follow. <sighs> Okay, so <laughs> that is exactly why I wanted to do this show and why I started this whole thing, because the media is actually worse than the government. He loved it when it was for Bush. He hates it now that Obama's doing the exact same thing. Is this just like the height of hypocrisy? And can we expect anything better? Latinity. So we just... He's like the most eye-rolling, ridiculous character now. He's surpassed O'Reilly. Like, at least O'Reilly usually will retain some semblance so, of, you know, this is what I'm saying and I, and I stick with it. If he changes his mind, he says it, it changes his mind. Yeah. Hannity's out of his mind <laughs> and just will go with whatever he thinks, you know, the most right faction or whatever the market research people at Fox tell him. And I think at the time when Bush was president, they were just like, no, you know, 9-11 just happened in Patriot Act and we have to support George Bush. And then, you know, they did their market research, which was just Googling, do you hate Obama? And people check the yes box <laughs> for whoever watches Fox. And they were like, oh, now this is the worst thing that's ever happened. So it's, we expect it. It's stupid. It's obvious. But the problem is it's not obvious to the viewers of Fox. So speaking of the viewers, do you think when the regular viewers, the people that have been watching this guy, and it's millions and millions of people that are watching a night, do you think that the regular viewer that digs this guy is going, wait a minute, I know that he didn't believe that a couple of years ago, or they just don't care? Well, my dad's missing teeth and doesn't care. So I don't think, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do any research <laughs> at all. He doesn't like care that, about anything. He doesn't care, and yeah. he, but he'll believe whatever they say. And so that's big Fox News. Guy. Oh yeah, he's big, that's all he wants watches is Fox News. Right. Uh, love you, Dad, but you're an idiot. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Happy no, it, Father's Day. Yeah, yeah. Happy Father's Day, <laughs> Earl. Yeah. Um, but he, uh, what I think is so funny is that Hannity is sort of the, the bizarro liberal. Whatever the liberals think, he thinks the exact opposite, mm -hmm. just to just to please their audience base. Yeah. It's like, I hate the way Obama chews. We should stop chewing. Stop you know, chewing. I don't know. Right, right. It's just, Obama could do anything and they'll just say it's wrong. Yeah, do you guys, I'm, he looks so, weird. I'm so on this idea that this is actually worse now because of the media than because of the government. Because oh, I feel like no one ever trusts the government really. <laughs> but like if we can't even trust the media, and look, MSNBC is almost as bad on the left mm -hmm. as Fox is, on the right. And CNN in the middle just getting it wrong no and, matter what. Yeah, right. <laughs> CNN, there are llamas falling from the sky. Yeah, just exactly. Making stuff up to get ratings. Yeah, I which mean. Which they don't get, which, ironically. Uh, yeah, of that, That's the funny part. I mean, yeah. Fox is crushing them all together mm -hmm. and MSNBC is in the middle and, and CNN's getting slaughtered. But if, if we can't trust that we're gonna ever turn and who do you trust? Who do you trust in the media? We trust you. I who trust, trust Ruben Report. We trust, okay, no, thank you, good answer. I think you, you just have guys. to do your own independent research. And first of all, news 
skews a little bit older. Yeah. It skews to people that depend on the television news, that depend on their news anchors, and that believe that these people are telling them the truth. People that were brought up to believe that when you were listening to a news program, like your father, my mother similar, my mother's almost 70 years old, she watches Fox News, and what they say is gospel to her because she believes these are the authorities telling her the truth. Yeah. I think younger generation understands that A, that there's companies that own these people. There's people like Rupert Murdoch, there's corporations, there's advertising dollars, there's all these different reasons why certain large media entities have reasons to kind of skew a story a certain way or make a story bigger. Um, and then I think, you know, younger people kind of just turn to the internet more and not that that's always more helpful. There's yeah. a lot of bullshit on the internet. <laughs> Are you saying not everything on the internet is no, true? Everything on the internet is absolutely <laughs> true. Yeah. Um, but I think I think I think they're holding on to a, an older audience, and I think that's what it is. And I yeah. think older people tend to believe what they're told from an authority because that's kind of just the way you were raised when you because they're closer to death and judgment. Than, <laughs> so now and you have to believe it. Now you're just taught that when you were younger, you know, you didn't you know really question authority as much. Of course, some people did, but I think it speaks to the why your father and my mother and another generation of people will watch Fox News because they're like, nope, whatever you say is true. Yeah. I just wonder what happened to Gideon Yago. Gideon Yago. Who I as a Yago. <laughs> But yeah. I trust no. him. MTV, now, he MTV was MTV he News. was MTV, MTV News. News. Yeah. Uh, he was, I trusted Kurt Loder. They're talking about Kurt Loder. Wow, you're really great. going back. Yeah. Loder's very, very, that shows I'm Suchin old. What is Suchin Pak? Yeah, but Suchin is there Pak. really? Is, wait, I don't even know who that is. She was, uh, also She's on, on the, the news, news now on something. I can't remember oh. where, like CNN or something. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to Google her when I get home. But is there someone in the news, really? I mean, thank you, I know it's me. But besides <laughs> me, is there someone in the news that you watch and actually feel like this person is like intellectually honest, and really report. Me too. I was going to say me too. Me too. Me too. Even though he's on CNN, which has like so much, just like the most random reporting of early reporting, just bullshit. Like whatever they're like, just say it first. Say it yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Call the election. We'll call figure whatever. It out later. Yeah, exactly. For some reason, Anderson Cooper has this hold. I feel like on a lot of people I know, where we're like, we trust Coops, and I don't yeah. know why. Is it? It's, it's, it's just, just his hair. So it's just the hair yeah, and the yeah. it's the hair and that perfect skin. I know. I the dreaminess. Yeah, I want to marry him. Yeah. Sorry, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I like. I also like Lisa Ling, who I think is a really honest reporter, and I feel like she tells the full story. Yeah. Uh, and she's very trustworthy because yeah. her sister was kidnapped. So that's what I was just gonna say. I feel like she's only trustworthy because everyone was like, "Well, her sister was kidnapped." So right. Everyone was like, "We trust her because she looked very emotional." And when Oprah yeah. had her on, and they were like, "We saved your sister," and Lisa yeah. Ling had the one tear, and then they booked her for every show for the rest of her life. I'm kind of like. Lisa Ling, I don't trust you. I yeah. think you're. Don't. No, I think she's only famous because they kidnapped her sister. She's well, only. She was also. Well, she was on the View. The View. She, she was also I mean. on. Um, the, in in high school, they had this t TV channel, and she was one of the one of the. Yeah, the um, so was I. Anchors. And I didn't know the hell I was talking oh, you were, about. Yeah. You were. Yes. I I didn't do my research. I don't know. I didn't know what you guys are talking about. You guys were anchors on a high school TV show. Oh, you mean the big closed circuit one yeah, that went yeah, everywhere yeah. or whatever? Oh, that didn't exist. How did that exist when she was? Isn't she older than me? This is getting weird. All right, we're getting sorry. sidelined here. All right. Fi <laughs> so, final thing on this is: should we? When I was looking at this story, like I really wanted to do this because I think it's important that people really see it side by side, like the one opinion and the other opinion, and really just show it to everybody so they see the bullshit. But do you guys ever think that we should just not cover stories like this because it's like, I have a policy on this show and on Twitter I don't talk about the Kardashians because I, w I think you, that's how you take the power away. Should we be doing that kind of thing when it comes to something like Hannity and just let it be ignored no. and be free? You have to call it out? Of course, because it's yeah. so blatant and so obvious and so ridiculous and even though it's preaching to the choir because I'm sure a lot of people that watch you and are gonna be watching things on YouTube aren't necessarily a Fox News viewer, it's so blatant. It's like yeah. grossly blatant. Like they how need can to be, they need yes. to know about it. Those anyway. clips side by side are just so outrageously blatant and gross and just show you what that news channel's all about that yeah. you're like, how can you not show it? Yeah. Yeah. It's and not, then yeah. so final thought. As, as an artist and someone that puts out, you know, comedy and your thoughts on things, do you think there's ever a moment that you've had where you've put out something that you said one way and then truly just absolutely said the other Thing, you know what I mean? Just to like, get a retweet? Ju just to get a <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes. Well, to get a retweet. We all want the yeah. retweet. All right, there you go. After the retweet. He wants the, we all want the retweet. Retweet this, like this, thumbs up, and whatever. <laughs>